Good morning guys, we are set up at our market. Um, I will put in a little time lapse of us setting up. We ended up changing our setup from that video as well a little bit and I'll put another video where we changed it to. We moved some things around because the back of our setups in the sun since we're just under a pavilion. In the morning sun is hitting us really hard. It is very hot. It's like what? It's gonna be a high of 82 today, but it, it's already 71, so it already is very warm. So we're very excited to be here. Our setup's really cute today. We really like it. Mom's got a new shelf set up, and you'll see that too as well. Um, it starts at 10, and it's already 9:55, and I've already sold a stinking love cat. <laughs> So, wish us good luck for today, and we'll see how today's market goes. It is from 10 to 2, so it's not a very long one, and it's a local one, but we'll see how it goes. Out for full display, the loaf cats, the turtles, the octos, some of mom's bigger things, which are so cute. And I think the cow on top of the shelf is just adorable. And then my little brother made a birdhouse, so we're putting it out for this market because it's just a small local thing. And then I have some more turtles, all the keychains, passy clips, a couple other random things. And then we have our double stacked shelves, just filled. 
And look at all those turtles. Can you tell we were addicted to making turtles? And then some more big things over here. More bin items we can put on the other shelf. And then a couple snuggers. So we're ready. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's now 11.30. I'm checking back in. I have sold just the loaf cat and I have sold my last honey bunny in the black dabbled yarn. Um, it was so cute. It was a little boy. He was like this tall and his little brother bought one of my mom's mermaids. It was super, super, super adorable. Um, they don't have any lunch today. But they do have this coffee place. If it'll focus, not on my face. There we go. And it's Amy Lou's Brews and she's so sweet. It has a little Bible verse on the back. So cute. I got an iced caramel macchiato that me and my mom are going to share really quick. <laughs> Glad you mixed it up. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to mix it before you drink it. <laughs> That's really good. The caramel is really good with it. So we're just hanging out. We're just chilling. We're going to be here till two. So we have two and a half more hours. There's a event thing that's happening in this town. Um, uptown now on the square. So we're hoping people will migrate down from that after the lunch rush. So we will see how we go how it goes and I'll keep you guys updated. Welcome back. I am now back home, obviously. It is now the next day. I went ahead and sat down and calculated my totals for my market. I will say we knew going into it that it was gonna be a really small market, but we wanted to do something um, for this weekend, and so we did, and our market, again, was very small. I sold less than 10% of my stock. I only sold 80, five dollars worth of inventory at this market so there's not a lot of numbers to report here either i did sell like i said like a loaf cat i sold a bunny um and a few other small things mostly but those were the big things that i had sold for this market um afterwards me and my mom went ahead and we went to another local town and we did a uh, window painting for the 4th of July slash Memorial Day slash the summertime. Um, and I'll go ahead and put a little picture here of what we ended up painting. It was so cute and it was so fun to do. But it was extremely hot this weekend. Like, the first weekend it's been good hot weather in a while. And we were not ready for that. So, after our market we were pretty wiped out. We were in the sun during the morning that was like shining under the pavilion like in through the side on us a little bit and then as it became more nude it was just shining straight down so it was all shade for everybody luckily and then the afternoon sun didn't hit us at all which was really really nice honestly um but it did get hot nonetheless at the market so we were just tired we were hot there wasn't a lot of airflow underneath there there wasn't a lot of wind happening and so we went home, we reset, we got dressed in our paint clothes and some cooler clothes. And we went back, like, I think it was 6.30 when we left to head down there. Um, that way it'd be a little bit cooler while we painted, which was super nice. And I'm really glad that we did that. Otherwise, it would have been miserably hot out. So the windows turned out really cute. We're really glad we got to do that for our community as well. Um, and I really have nothing else to report on. My next big market will be... June 1st and 2nd that will be our huge two-day market our very first one that's like really big really big deal there's 153 vendors total there because we did get the map the other day and it is absolutely huge I mean it's ginormous and so I'm very nervous of how that's gonna go but I am very 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 excited to see how it turns out um 
I have a new strategy to build up some inventory this coming week for my shows and stuff. Um, since this is going to be such a big one, I think I'm going to focus less on new patterns because I had to do that over the last couple weeks. And I'm going to focus on just making duplicates of what I already have. That way, like, first day, I'm thinking in my mind that we'll put out like 75% of our stock. And then day two, we'll put out like 25% of our stock. I'm just worried about selling out. So we want to withhold some of our stock at least. That way we have something for the second day vendors or customers, I should say. And so we're really excited. Um, it's going to be a learning opportunity for both me and my mom here. Um, but I'm super thrilled to get started and see how that goes. I'm going to have um, a new list that mom sent me of how she's keeping track of in her inventory. And I want to relay that to you guys as well. So I'll show that in my next video so you guys can see how I'm market prepping for such a big market. I do have a really cool pattern test I'm working on as well that you'll be seeing in my shorts and my reels and stuff coming up soon probably before next week because the, it's due Friday. So it's due very, very soon. So I will be working on that as well. I did rest my hand quite a bit and it's feeling much better. So I'm very optimistic about getting a lot done over the next week. So you guys will see lots of updates on that. Thank you so much for watching though. I really appreciate you guys being here. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate, appreciate every single like, comment, and subscription to this channel. There's also a link in my channel uh, to join as a member. And if you join on the highest level, you'll get invited to our Discord where we share free patterns. We talk about what we're working on. You get a lot of previews of all of my like market disaster stuff and behind the scenes stuff. And you also get early access to all my videos. So if you would like some of that, go ahead and go join the channel as well. I appreciate you guys all being here. If you need me, you know where to find me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>